Alright guys, today I've got a fun little video here. This is going to be on my Moto X. This is the Verizon Developer Edition, which is the XT1060. Uh, and we're going to show you guys how to install SideGemite on this device. So, um, let me just go ahead and show you the build number I'm on. There you go, is uh, Android 4.4, which is KitKat. Um, it's my build. Ghost, I guess is the code name for the Verizon variant. And we're going to show you how to, like I said, install SideGemite or CM11, which is also KitKat. Um, now, if you like the way this looks right now, this is with exposed modules, and I've got a whole video series on this, so this is pretty cool. If you like this look right here, check that out. Um, check out my playlist on it, or go to rootjunkie.com. You can see stuff on there also. Um, very, very cool. So we're going to go ahead and go in here and just show you what I got. So if we go into my file browser here, and I go to CM11, there you go. I've put my newest CM11 Nightly and some Google applications right there on my SD card so that I can flash them in recovery. Um, just go ahead and make sure you got those downloaded. I will give you guys links to that in the video description. Obviously, you can go to actually sidegenmod.com and download the Nightlies for the, from there for this device. And then the Google applications, I think, are PA Google applications I'm going to be installing. Um, but I'll give you links to all that stuff. Don't worry about it. It's always in the video description. All right. So we're going to go ahead and actually do reboot to recovery. Um, so the prerequisite for installing SideGenMod are going to be an unlocked bootloader and custom recovery installed. I have videos on both of those things, so um, definitely check those out uh, for yourself and get to those that step, get to where you have the two files on your device. Then you can get into recovery and we can flash this. So that's what we're going to do right here. So I'm going to go reboot to recovery. And that's an exposed module right there that allows me to reboot to recovery. It's very, very cool. Like I said, exposed does some amazing stuff, really amazing stuff. So we're going to reboot into recovery here. I like to use uh, Team Win Recovery Project or Twerp. It is my recovery of choice. And we'll just go in here and do this. So first thing you want to do anytime you flash any ROM to your device is you want to do an Android backup. Very, very important. So we're going to first go ahead and go to backup. Make sure everything is checked. And then right here it says backup name auto generate. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to call this thing, I'm going to change the name of it because the date's in there, but I really want to put stock. And then I'm going to put space exposed because it's totally themed out with exposed. And then I'm going to hit go. And you may want to name yours something that you can remember to know what you were on when you made the backup besides just the date and then you're just going to swipe across and create your first Android backup or maybe you've done this many times and you know what you're doing. So that being said uh, I'm going to let this backup run probably going to take five to ten minutes to back up and we'll come back to it. All right there you go our uh, backup has completed um, we're good to go. It says reboot system but we don't want to do that because we want to flash this custom ROM so we're just going to back out of it until we get back to our main system here. Um, and we're going to go ahead and flash SideGemod. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and go into Wipes, and you're going to swipe across and wipe this out. Now, be aware that wiping it will wipe off all of your data, all your passwords. It'll wipe everything, so you have a clean slate to install your ROM. So just be ready for that. You obviously have the backup. You can always go back to if you need to, um, and that's, again, the importance of the backup. So we did our wipes. We're going to go to Installs. We're going to find where I've downloaded this. I put mine in a CM11 folder. So go ahead and click on the CM11 Nightly that you downloaded, add a zip, click on the Google applications you downloaded, and then just swipe across and it'll flash both the ROM and the Google applications. So we're just going to let this go through. Um, install this it should be fairly fast. I mean, Moto X is a pretty quick device, um, and these files are not really huge. So we'll let these things install, and we'll get right back to it as soon as they're done. All right, should be uh, wrapping up there, and there it is. So you can go back to home and just look at the main interface if you want to do anything else in there, or you can just hit Reboot System now, and this will reboot your device. So um, again, there's your unlocked bootloader because that's required to get custom recovery in your device. And um, this first boot up here for SideGen Mod, probably going to take, I'm going to say it's going to take like three or four minutes, maybe not even that long. It should be very quick because this, this is running really nicely. So there you go, that is the boot animation for SideGenMod on the Moto X. 
Um, definitely like Inside Jaman 11 boot animations, very cool. I've actually liked all their boot animations, they're all pretty, pretty, pretty slick. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing boot. I'll show you the ROM really quick. I'm going to bounce through setup and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. This is the ROM. We're fully booted up. Saijin Mod 11, Android 4.4.2, KitKat uh, is, is, is on, in, it's installed. We should be good to go on this device. Um, very, very cool. I'll just show it to you really quickly. You can see you've got all your fun little toggles, all that kind of good stuff on here, notifications. Um, basic, like I said, side and mod right here. You got the OK Google now. Turns on the microphone and lets you do your Google searches. Um, we'll go ahead and check out the applications that are installed on here. You do have uh, Apollo, CM File Manager, all your basic Google applications, Terminal Emulator, Whisper Push. Um, again, just real basic stuff on here. Now, I probably have more Google applications than you may get depending on what uh, Google applications or G -ga or gaps you install um, so there you go if you want to go to a widget you're just gonna have to hold down on your screen here and go to widgets and then you can install you know like a clock or something or whatever however you want to do it um, so pretty slick if you go into settings obviously this is where all the magic happens on CM11 with your interface tweaks and being able to customize all this kind of stuff themes lock screen settings um, tap to pay is in there. Super user is right there for root access. Uh, and we'll go into about really quick. Again, XT1060. Now, if you have one of the other retail versions, just go to the link in the video description for this version and you'll go to bring you to Saijin Mod site and you can download whatever version you guys have, whatever, you know, you have T Mobile, ATT, whatever. Just find out what you're running and download the right Saijin Mod version for you. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That will get you installed with CM11 on your Moto X. Not too, not too hard. Pretty simple to do. Just follow right along. Download all your stuff first. Meet your prerequisites, and you're good to go. Uh, pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna really go over this too much. I've done so much on Saijin Mod that uh, watch another video if you want to see a lot more on it. I've got all kinds of videos on Saijin Mod 11. So there you go. Uh, pretty much it. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.